Hey guys, it's Cress. Welcome to my channel. I started to wave and I was like, I didn't see the ticker going. Um, okay, so a couple things. First of all, I got some new lighting here. I switched my light bulbs and now I feel like I'm in an interrogation room or like UFOs are coming to get me. Like, I don't know. This lighting, I have to fix my lighting situation. It's driving me insane. But um, I am coming to you with a haul video today. Um, it's kind of funny because I was saying you wouldn't be seeing any more haul videos and for the most part you really won't. I'm really not ordering. But this is a vendor that I've really been wanting to try forever and because I think they're hysterical. I mean this wax is just the names, the scent descriptions, absolutely hysterical. Um, so I placed a small order the other day just to try you know some of their stuff they had like a huge clearance and that kind of stuff and everything um but if you guys have not heard of it it's called grumpy girl and grumpy girl candles and bath they sell bath items also and let me see this is the invoice i got quite a few i guess melts yes i did um but they were all like two dollars and then they were um my, let's put it this way, my subtotal came to $42, and then they were having this huge sale, and so with the coupon, the coupon saving was $25.20, so discounted total, subtotal $16.80, shipping cost kind of brought it back up to $10.50, but I went from $72, and the total that I paid was $27.30, so I mean, the shipping was a little high, but I mean, it was so worth it. This this was crazy, crazy, crazy. I get their newsletters, and every time I get them, I want to um, order because they their stuff is just hysterical. I don't know how the wax is because I haven't melted it. You'll guys will see that. I'll do like a spotlight vendor review, or I'll do you'll see it in my do's or duds or whatever what I think of it. Um, or I'll post it below here once I've actually melted something. But I really, I got this today and this was delivered um, U.S. Priority Mail in two days. It was shipped on the 12th. No, the date of this receipt was the 12th. I just got it today or yesterday? The 18th. Oh, no, this was printed out the 18th. I don't know. There's so many dates on here. It did take a little while to process. Um, it took about maybe four four days or something like that four to five days to process and then it had to ship and I think there was a weekend in there kind of thing I'm not really sure so I mean it did take you know a little while but it was I mean nothing you know a, a decent TAT time but like I said if you um have not um the code by the way so if you guys go on I'm just letting you know I don't know if I'm supposed to do this but the code is, um, the coupon code is finish it up. So it's F I N I S H I T U U P. I was going to say U up, um, U P. So finish it up. So you get like this insane discount. I, like I said, it was crazy. And that's really only the reason, one of the reasons I ordered the other one was because I really, really wanted to try this company just because it cracks me up. Um, I am doing this video in photo booth and I do believe I have learned how to switch the images around, flip the images so that the writing will not be like my last video that I did. The writing was giving people a headache. They're like, I'm getting a headache because <laughs> they were trying to read stuff in the mirrored effect. But I did my research and I figured it out because I'm the Google queen. Um, so even though when I hold it up, it's going to show to me like it's looking mirrored it's not when when it uploads and stuff and when it records it's not so anyway it comes it, okay just a little bit about the site uh, and i'm sorry guys if i'm not like looking straight at you because for some reason i can't keep photo booth on my screen when i go to google chrome it disappears and then i have to hit it again hopefully it still continues to um in fact i'm gonna hit it real quick and see if i go back to it if I'm still recording. Yes, I am. Okay. So I have to kind of click back and forth. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. But anyway, um, instead of just being able to move it and have Google Chrome on my screen, I can't keep it on top of Google Chrome. I don't know what the deal is. Google Chrome does not want this on top of it. I don't know. Um, 
So a little bit about the company. This is pretty funny. So it's called Grumpy Girl Candles and Baths. And um, if you go to grumpygirlcandles.com, you guys may have heard of this this vendor before. It's not a vendor that's really talked about, but it's just 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 for it's very snarky. It's very um, some things would be not considered politically correct. Um, kind of stuff. So if you take offense to a lot of things, this is probably not a candle company for you. I find it absolutely hysterical because you really can't offend me. It's really hard to do. Um, <laughs> us with those warped sense of humors. So for example, you go on and it says current TAT time three to four years working on all orders numbers on all order numbers with the exception of yours. And then it, it has a little monkey on the page and it says, hey baby, he's got a little thought bubble. He, a little thought bubble. And it says, hey baby, you busy later. Um, and then I'm on the scent list and so I'm gonna go through. I mean, some of these are, you know, acid trip, um, bulimic ballerina, and you know, I mean, I've battled with eating disorders myself when I was younger. So I mean, I don't take offense to it. I know some people would, but, it's just some of them, or some of them are normal, um, but one is Deceptions and Lies, one is called Drama Whore, um, uh, oh god, um, I'm Sparkly Bitch, Inappropriate Aunt Gert, Jenny Craig Say What, um, I mean, just some of these scent things are, scent names are just hysterical. I mean, you know, you kind of got to take it on the cuff, you know what I mean? I just, I think they're absolutely adorable, but it's run by, um, I think two people. I don't know if it's a husband and wife or what, but they also do soaps. And I have used some of their sugar scrubs before, their foaming sugar scrubs. I actually got them from somebody in a um, D stash, and they're really, really good. They're really good. Um, so if you're into Bath and Body too, you know, check out their stuff. Um, really reasonably priced. So, but it's run by. Uh, a wife team and then there's a section of Stevie's pics and all this other stuff and they show pictures I'm assuming of her husband or something I don't really know but I just wanted to show you my packing slip because it was funny I just it says packed by Stevie I'm seven I like cheese like <laughs> how can you not think that's funny like it's just like hello it's so that's like how my brain works, you know. I was just talking to somebody, as a matter of fact, about on the phone, about um, it, we were talking about my videos or something, and I was talking specifically about my vlogs when I'm out and about, and I said, because I was talking to Marin about it too. I said, you ever notice? I just noticed this in my last vlog how my brain works. Like I always come a full circle, but like I'll be sitting there and I'll be talking and I'll be telling a story and oh yeah and then I went to the grocery store and oh duct tape like I just my brain just goes oh like all of a sudden it's someplace else you know what I mean and then I'll go oh and yeah and then I went back to the grocery store and I was doing this so I I'm all, and the person I was talking to on the phone was laughing because she was saying well at least you come full circle she's like that's really good because I can't like I if I go off on something else, I've totally forgotten what I've said. I'm like, no, it's really weird. It's like, you know, this little ha it's like the little hamsters are running in a wheat in the wheel, and one kind of jumps off, and the other hamster is still going, and then the other one jumps back on. Like th th those are my thoughts, you know. Like they're still going in the wheel. I still got that main thought going, but then the little hamster will jump off and and look for duct tape, and then he'll come back in and join the conversation, and it's just so funny. So anyway, that was hysterical. Oh, and you guys, I, I've gotten, I got three more pen pal packages, letters packages, uh, 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 things today. You guys are just. I haven't, I'm going to do a pen pal video. Um, I'm, I'm hoping on Monday. Um, I'm going to be super busy this weekend, I believe. So it may not be till Monday um, because I am going to be out shopping for your pen pal items and I am going to be out um, my little gifty gifts that I want to send you and um, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be writing and all this kind of stuff. And I'm just super, you guys have just really been so wonderful. I just want to state that again. Like, 
above and beyond, I have the number one subbies on YouTube. Like, I don't care. It's, you know, and my commitment to you guys. Okay, so this is going to be a chit chat and a grumpy girl haul. <laughs> Sorry. My commitment to you guys, I really, someone mentioned, and this has been said before, that they really feel like they know me um, by watching my videos. And that really was my my main, my broad goal when I started doing these YouTubes. And, you know, when you first start doing YouTubes, you know, you're in front of the camera and you're not really sure, you know, if you're going to like it and, you know, you might think you look dumb or you sound dumb or whatever. I'm kind of, you guys, you guys have figured out, I'm kind of a whatever kind of girl. Like, whatever comes out of Chris's mouth comes out of Chris's mouth. Whatever she's thinking about, what you know. You know, so I just did it for fun. And, and... And because I wanted to be informative and I wanted to get information out to you guys and I've been getting so many newbies to the wax world too, which I, you know, I mean, if you ever have your friends with me on Facebook or you ever have any questions, please post them. I really do. I get all the notifications when someone's posts to comment. I always try to, um, um, respond back, even if it's, if it's just with a thank you or whatever. And I make that commitment to you that, I will always do that. I'm not going to be a YouTuber that just, you know, gets all these likes and subscribes and whatever's and just doesn't respond. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I'm just not. I, I just really feel like this is more of a friendship kind of thing, even though, you know, we're getting to know each other a little more now with the pen pals, which is super, super duper cool. But, um, you know, I'm always going to be very interactive. So that's just, you know, my commitment to you. But anyway, okay, moving on. <laughs> so it came in this box and with this cute, this is their like logo packaging. It's also on their website. Um, these little dots, which are really cute. And everything was wrapped. Everything's wrapped in cello and it's in, it's taped. Oh, it's twist tied and it's scotch taped. Okay, will I need scissors? No, I guess I won't. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, I've never seen that before. Twist tie and scotch tape. That's ingenious. Okay, so like I said, so now if I'm going back and forth because I'm describing scent descriptions to you guys, since this is not a warm review and this, this, some of these things are hysterical, I apologize. Um, so the first one that I have here is... Oh my God, I can smell it from here. It's Kiss My Grits. And I don't know if you guys have ever watched Alice before. I wish that show was still on. I wonder if it's on Netflix. I used to watch that show all the time. But Flo, the waitress, used to say, Kiss My Grits. That used to be her thing. Um, so Kiss My Grits is described as, let me see if it's even still in the scent list. Because some of these were like discontinued scents. H-I-J. J K no it's not okay so these must just be the scent list must be things that hmm, or some of them wait Christmas scents no drunk Uncle Bob <laughs> I get you guys know I get crazy okay here uh, clearance sale scents is it here kiss my grits is fruit and spice that's just how it's described. Okay, this is really, this is nice. It's, um, I smell the fruit. I don't know if it spells, smells, smells, spells, smells, spells, smells. It, it smells spicy to me. It smells more clean. I don't know. This is kind of weird, uh, you guys, honestly. It doesn't smell like spice. Like normally I don't do spicy. It smells clean. So I don't know. Kiss my grits smells clean, which I guess is good because if we're going to kiss someone's grits, you want them to be clean. Um, the next one is, oh, I just mentioned this one. See, I want to make sure this is going to aggravate me. <laughs> this is going to aggravate me so much. I want to make sure. Come on that oh I have to push that I'm I'm holding these up correctly and you guys can like see them okay so this is drunk uncle bob 
<laughs> like, hello, don't we all have one of those? Drunk Uncle Bob is, this I guess is, was it is the Christmas scent, but those were on clearance too. Um, this is a Christmas scent. Oh my, oh my Lord, this is a long scent description. Oh, they have fat Santa cookies. Okay, Drunk Uncle Bob, every family has one. You know, the relative that comes over for holiday parties and makes an ass of himself before passing out drunk on the sofa. This classic scent is just like dear old Drunk Uncle Bob himself and will bring back memories of holiday parties from when you were a kid sitting on the top stair watching the festivities below and Drunk Uncle Bob snoring away softly on the sofa covered in his own vomit while your mother looks on horrified ah the holidays fresh pine and balsam combined with fresh baked goodies candied fruits spices and a hint of rum now you guys know i don't i mean that's hysterical hello hysterical <laughs> i mean you know i i i have a drunk uncle bob too but you know his name's not bob but whatever you know you know you you guys you know we all have one of those but you know no vomit mine is the vomit but um I didn't, when I bought these, I didn't look at scent descriptions. I just purchased. So it really was, I kind of just got my hands on what I could. So a lot of these may go into my de-stash bags, but they're brand new. So, you know, this actually smells very nice. This kind of reminds me of a men's cologne almost. But you definitely, it definitely has pine. You know, and you know, it's funny. I don't mind balsam, but pine itself, I don't like. But I get more of a balsam than a pine. Mm. This is, but this is nice, because normally, like I said, with pine, I'm kind of like, oh, oh no, I don't, I don't like it. Um, okay, so the next one is <laughs> this was a Christmas scent too, and I knew it was probably going to be like mint, but this is Frosty the Pervert. <laughs> These things, I love scent descriptions, you guys, especially when they're witty and everything like that. It just cracks me up. It absolutely, absolutely cracks me up. Let me see if I can do this. Oh, I think I can do that. Can I do that? Can I do this? Hold on. I'm just seeing if I can move these windows around. Ah, I can. I can. I figured it out, you guys. I'm not as dumb as I look. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so... Frosty the pervert. Let me see. Is he in Christmas? No. Oh, yes, he is. Okay. Not everybody knows the story of Frosty. Oh, sure. The cartoons played during the holidays when we were kids were the the. I'm sorry. Oh, sure. The cartoons played during the holidays when we were kids are full of happy, fun, frosty things with a bunch of singing and a happy ending. But Frosty was a has a dark, perverted side that not many people know about. Often spotted on the crosstown bus during the holiday season, reading the latest Frosty nipple mag. Frosty has a rap sheet a mile long due to flashing the neighborhood housewives his crystal balls from time to time. Pure white with a touch of glitter on top to deceive you with assumed innocence, Frosty the pervert will tickle selective parts of you in the shower with a cool pep minty peppermint blast. Brr. You know he gets his, jo his jollies from it, pervert. So they must have, <laughs> that's hysterical. I mean, that's ingenious and hysterical. I'm sorry. But they must have a bath product in this scent also because they talk about the bath. And it, and it does have some glitter. Oops, let me move this. It does have some glitter on it. I don't know if you can see the glitter. Things just aren't showing up the way I want them to. There's a little bit of white glitter on there. We're holographic. And this is just a nice pepperminty, minty smell. And like I said, and I'm not huge on mint. This one would probably go in my d stash too. But it's a really nice, it smells like a candy cane, actually. That's what it smells like to me. Um, and I knew placing this order that a lot of these I may not like because, you know, I was going, I was going in blonde. Chris was going in blonde. Blind, not blonde. <laughs> Um, this is called Spank the Monkey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. It's too funny. Okay, so Spank the Monkey. Let me see if I can find Spank the Monkey. Oh, my God. Sex on the Beach. Uh, wait. Oh, my God. 
Spank the monkey. Let's see. They have one called Psychopath, Porn Star, and Pink Panties. I mean, some of those I didn't, I wasn't able to get, but I, I don't see Spank the Monkey. Okay, well, I'll have to tell you what I think it is. Okay, this reminds me of a, like a monkey fart. This is really, this is actually really nice. Yeah, this is definitely a coconut, a banana. And some sort of like tropical fruit, like a guava or papaya or something. Mm, this is really nice. So I think this is their version of um, monkey farts. Spank the monkey. Um, okay, so the next one is fat. This was another, um, what do you call it? This was another, oh, now I can get it on top of there. This was another Christmas one. This is fat Santa cookies. These descriptions are cr cracking me up. And this is going to be a long video just because of the sun descriptions, but I can't, I can't not, I just can't not do this. Okay, so Fat Santa Cookies. This is like a book right here. Okay, one Christmas Eve in New York City, a very thin, starving, beautiful, and aspiring model lay in bed, tossing and turning, unable to sleep. All she could think about were the warm, gooey, cinnamon butter sugar cookies and ice cold glass of milk that her current boyfriend of the hour had left by the fireplace for Santa. They called at her at 2 a.m. in the middle of a troubled sleep. She put the pillow over her head to drown out the sounds, hoping to fall back to sleep. Now you see, the starving model, all she ever wanted was a matching set of silicone fun bags in... <laughs> All she ever wanted was a matching set of silicone fun bags in a size triple D, and she spent that very morning waiting in line at Macy's department store just to sit on Santa's lap to ask for the big silicone bags of joy. Of course, Santa made her bounce up and down on his lap while she asked for them, but that's another story entirely and probably best saved for a jury after the harassment suit is filed. Finally, unable to stand the thought of the cookies any longer, she got up, put on her robe, and tippy-toed silently down the long hallway to the living room where the cookies were. She sat in front of the Christmas tree and ate every last one of fat Santa's cookies and tippy-toed back silently down the hallway to bed, carefully not to wake Chester, Ched, Charlie, whatever his name was. In the morning, she woke excited because she knew that today was the day she'd find her triple D silicone fun bags under the tree. She ran excitedly from the bedroom, like, well, like a kid at Christmas, silly. When she reached the living room, she saw a huge silver box with a red bow waiting for her. Unable to contain her excitement any longer, she ripped off the lid. Inside was a note from Santa and a single box of saltine crackers that read, Dear super thin aspiring model, since you ate all my damn cookies, I only thought it was fair to ration out to you your dinner for the next 364 days. Enjoy. Love, Santa. Needless to say, the boyfriend of the hour left her because she didn't get any fun bags, and all she got was a year's supply of saltine crackle crackers. Moral of the story, he's fat, he's Santa, and you better leave his damn cookies alone. I could read these all day. I could make just a whole video on reading these these video, these set descriptions. It's hysterical. So fat fat Santa cookies smells like um like a buttery sugar cookie. This is really good. Mm, these are nice, and I don't know. I think these are soy or parasoy. I'm not sure, so I don't know how long they have to cure for, guys. But um, if I do find out that information, I shall let you know. Okay, so the next bag that is so wrapped in, so coolly wrapped in, it's twist, it's twisted and then scotch taped. Like, way to go. The scotch tape comes off really easily. Um, easier than twist ties, even. I've just never seen that. Okay, so next, I don't mean to flip my hair like the aspiring actress in the last uh, <laughs> scent description. I just put my hair in a high pony, and, and you, I always notice like one side sticks out and one side stays nice. It drives me crazy. Anyway, okay, so the next one is called Hot. Put that focus. 
hot training mess. Hysterical. Remember I was telling you I had my, my, um, what, what did I call it? When I, when I had the gold, um, glitter all over my lips, what was I calling it? Drag. It was my drag lipstick. This one, this is called hot training mess. Like this is just hysterical. And I am like the most, the most non-judgmental, non-prejudiced person on the face of the earth. I, I just find these hysterical. So I, if this video, like I said, if any of this stuff bothers you, I apologize. I think it's hysterical. Um, what is this called again? Hot training mass. H. H. Nope. Oh, those are clearance sales. Let me see. Hot training H. Party on like a rock star, cotton candy, rock star, and sugar. So I'm thinking this might be a dupe of rock star. Oh my God, this is really good. This is really, really good. I love rock, rock candy scents. And this is really, really amazing. I don't know if this is a dupe of, um, I don't know who makes Rockstar. I don't know if it's Lush or what, but um, this is really good. This is just a nice, sweet, sweet scent. Okay, the next one is Hollywood Sex Kitten. And this is sultry notes of white flowers, soft sensual musk, and powdery violets make this a must-have because every Hollywood sex kitten smells like this, right? Ooh, see, I didn't think I was going to like this because I was like, flowers, I'm not a big flower person. This is really nice. It says, oh, it's very, it's really nice. I think it's the white flowers. It's not, it's a floral, but it's not too floral. It's not too musky and it's not very powdery. It's not like, ooh. I really like this a lot. You know what it kind of reminds me of is Love Spell. That's kind of what it reminds me of. I really like it. Love Spell is kind of like the one floral that I can kind of do, but that's what that one reminds me of. Okay, this one is, oops. Creme de la creme. I love that term. I don't know why. Creme de la creme. I just feel like, like, I don't know like sophisticated saying creme de la creme. I, I don't know why. Um, creme de la creme is because uh, they, they have this, I wish they just had them all in, but they have the Christmas scents, then they have the clearance sale scents. So they are in alphabetical order, but they're in, I mean, trailer park trash. Hello. Hysterical. Um, ugh. They're just so funny. Oh, let me see. Creme de la creme. Creme brulee with car car caramelized brown sugar. So like I said, some of them are, are normal. Some of them are just hysterical. This is good. This is rocking right here. Oh my God. I, I don't really like creme brulee scents, but this is super sweet. I, oh my God, this is really good. Wow. I love this one. Love this one. I'm putting, I'm putting fave on that one. That's a really good one. That one, um, oh my God, I really like that one. That's really, really good. Okay, so next is, Maren's going to be up soon to me like, you're doing a video at 3.30 in the morning? Okay, this is Psychopath. Now, if I, somebody with mental illness issues, can find that funny, then everybody should find it funny. I'm sorry. I just think it's funny. Psychopath. What does a psychopath smell like? I'll let you know. Hold on. Psychopath <laughs> smells like, um, let me see, caramel and vanilla with hints of bergamot, tangerine leaves, ginger, um, star Anna say, um, patchouli, lavender, heliotrope, coriander, cedar, and tonka bean. Wow, that's a lot. 
Oh, this is really good. This is just a nice, um, the, like if you're afraid of patchouli, don't be because this is this, there's so much in this. This kind of reminds me of a nice woodsy scent, but you can smell the caramel and the vanilla, which makes it very interesting. I really like this a lot. It's like a woodsy caramel vanilla scent. It's really good. I mean, I don't think I catch the lavender and the heliotrope and the ginger and all that other stuff. Oh, it's it's really good, though. I like this. I like this one a lot. Um, let me see. Next is Let Them Eat Cake, which you guys have probably, you know, I know other people have this scent. I don't know if Grumpy Girl is the exact, um one but it says rich buttery italian birthday cake topped with fluffy buttercream frosting i don't know what makes italian birthday cake oh, this smells really good. okay to me italian birthday cake is well italian wedding cake we used to get it for our birthdays too is if you guys have ever had the white cake with the um with the Cool Whip almost, and then the, um, or some people use buttercream, and then the, the strawberries, the fruit in it, and then another layer of cake, and then, oh my god, I love that stuff. So this is, this is really good. This is just like a nice, rich, buttery birthday cake. And I'm not usually a buttercream person, but this, this is really good. I can smell the frosting on this too. And I normally don't like buttercream, but I really like this one. So that one is really good also. Okay, next we have, there's only one more after this one, guys, I swear. And rip it open. Rip. I'm like sticking all the tape to the box. Okay, high maintenance, which I am not. As you guys know, I'm going to get my nails done tomorrow, guys. I I'm, I'm, should be in bed right now because I need to get them done. I haven't picked out a design yet, too. I have to do that. High maintenance is... Okay, it's not there. Let's see, where is it? High maintenance. Okay, floral woody blend of patchouli and vanilla with a heavy musk undertone. Well, I love patchouli and I love musks. So let me tell you. Yes. This is very patchouli. Love it. It says floral. It's very patchouli and musky. I, I love this. I don't know if I catch the vanilla. I mean, you know, but I really, this is just a nice patchouli scent. I really like that one. This one is Putty in Your Hands. And I know my camera's being weird. It's like so unfocusing. Putty in Your Hands is, oh, pure lavender. Just a lavender scent. Oh, and this is a really good lavender, you guys. I'm iffy about my lavenders. Like I, if they're too floral or they're too, not, or too, and they're too powdery for me, I don't like them. I like them herbal, like, you know what I mean? Like fresh picked lavender. Like that's how I like it. I don't like them too florally, 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 or perfumey or anything like that. This is really good. This is an awesome lavender. Love it. So if you're a lavender lover, putty in your hands. See, you have to read the scent descriptions when you order just because you're not really sure what they are. But maybe if you watch my video, you can take notes and not have to read the scent descriptions and go, oh, I know I want Big Fat Santa. <laughs> okay, this one is Ghetto Princess. I know many of these. <laughs> not really. Um... They like to think so. It's funny. Um, Ghetto Princess is, let me see, 
Fresh green notes of clover and ivy, followed by notes of jasmine and vetiver, bottom notes of green stem notes. So this is going to be a green scent, and I know I'm going to love this. Yeah, this is really nice, but you know what is, is this is a wonderful, absolutely wonderful green scent. I love clover and ivy. I love, 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 love. But the jasmine sweetens it up. It doesn't make it overly perfumey. It just sweetens it up. Oh my God, it's so good. Really like this one. Really, really do. I'm getting wax all over the place. I like that one a lot too. Okay, so next we have... Super skank. Super skank. Super skank. She's super skanky. Yeah. I can't sing. I surely shouldn't sing. Sometimes I just break out into song. I, I found that recently. I've been doing that. I'm like, I can't. She's a super skank. Super skank. She's super skanky. Yeah. Rick Jones. That was a takeoff on Rick Jones, if you guys didn't know who that, that was. I think that was his name. I don't remember. I just remember the song. Super freak. Um, okay, so super skank. <laughs> Hello? Who thinks of these things? Who says, okay, I'm going to make wax. I'm going to name it super skank. It's hysterical. Magnolia and African violets with sweet orange blossoms, apple slices, and red grapes. Oh, this is good. I didn't, I didn't think I was going to like this one either. Mm, this is really good. The apple in this. And the grape really toned down the floral. So if you're not like a huge floral person, this is really good. This is really, really good. I'm so happy that I'm liking most of these because like I said, I picked them blind. I was just kind of like, I'm getting whatever. Whatever I can get my hands on, I'm getting. Um, this is... This is unfocused. That's what this is. It's unfocused. Woodstock 69. Woodstock was in 1970, wasn't it? I think it was the year I was born. I was born in 1970, you guys. Um, let me see. I was a I was part of the me generation. I was raised in the 80s. Like I was, you know, I went to high school in the 80s. The me 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 generation. Um, let me see. Woodstock 69. Do they still have this one? Yes. This one is not discontinued. This was this is the ultimate hippie fragrance blend. A rich, beautiful blend with an earthy hint of patchouli and a sweet smell of Nag Champa. These are like two of my all-time favorite scents. Yeah. Love it. Nag Champa is like... I think I like Nag Champa even more than I like patchouli. Patchouli can get a little overpowering, a little um, powdery at times, which I think why a lot of people don't like it. Nag Champa is a much sweeter, um, incense -y smell. Love it. Oh, I think, I think I'm going to order Nag Champa. I like all of that stuff. You guys know, Dragon's Blood and everything. That's just, oh, that's so good. Um, I think I'm going to order, when I next time I order from Self Source to Sense, I'm going to see if she has any Nag Champa because I love it. This is Don't Eat the Daisies. Don't, don't eat the daisies. You know why? Because you just shouldn't. I mean, I don't know why anybody would eat the daisies, but they're telling you just don't eat the daisies. Just don't. I don't quite know. I'm sorry. I need a bobby pin. Anybody got a bobby pin out there? Got one? Thanks. Thanks so much. That that helps. Um, <laughs> I don't know why anybody would eat the daisies, but this they're telling you not to. So don't eat the daisies is... Let me see. Okay, I can't find it. I did see it because I, I know I mentioned it before. I was reading these. Okay, don't eat the daisies. Tangy lemon and jasmine followed by middle notes of muget. Muget lily. That's a funny word. Muget. Muguet. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be French. Maybe it's a French lily. I don't know. That's weird. Rose petals, African violet, and daylily. Sitting on base notes of cedarwood, patchouli, and musk. Now, 
all those, I mean, lemon and flour and cedarwood and patchouli. This is good. Jeez, this is so weird. This is like the weirdest scent combination I've ever seen. Like, really? You you you've just thrown everything in there. You've thrown your fruits and your and your florals and your woods and your musky scents. Like, you've just thrown them all in this. And it really works. It's re it's really, really good. I don't really get the patchouli. I get the cedar wood. I don't get a musk. Um, you can definitely smell the the floral. But most, but what kind of evens out that floral is the lemon. Like, it's not like, ooh, lemon. You know what I mean? But it, it really tones down all those florals. That's good, too. That's, that's, these, I'm, I'm impressed so far. I mean, like I said, it's just cold snap. I don't know how it's going to perform. Last one, guys. I don't know how well they're going to perform, but like I said, I'm really liking it. I'm liking these on cold snap, um, except for those few. Those two Christmas, Christmassy scents that I can't do. But I have so many here, too, that I may, I mean, I'll probably share, because this is kind of ridiculous. I don't need, I didn't need any more wax, and I said I wasn't going to get any more, but I just really wanted to try this. Um, okay, this is Three Bears. I'm the little bear. I'm the little, I'm the little, oh my god. I thought you guys gave me a bobby pin. What, what, what happened? Ah, you're failing me here. Um, okay, this just, <laughs> I'm sorry. Never mind, Chris. Since when do you give a crap what your hair looks like? Okay, so the three bears is, I saw this up top. A complex arrangement of citrus top notes combined with, combined with fruity florals while sitting on a sweet vanilla bean and a faint woodsy patchouli base. They like their patchoulis, that grumpy girl. Oh, this is, so, oh my God, this is good. This is, I like anything citrus, you guys, and this is just amazing. And I can catch that faint woodsy patchouli base. This is so good. I say you can mix patchouli with anything. I really do, and it'll be good. This is really, this is one of my faves too. I'm going to, I'm going to sniff these all again because I have to write down. Um, this one is called Blooming Idiot. Um, Blooming Idiot. I think you have to be in, in Britain to say Blooming. Blooming Idiot. You're such a Blooming Idiot. Um... I don't, because I have never used that term. I've called people idiots before, but never blooming idiots. I mean, blooming sounds positive. An idiot is such a negative word. So it's kind of, you're, you're a blooming idiot. Like you're, I don't know, you're blooming idiosity. Idiosity? Is that even a word? I, lo I love making up my own words, if you guys have not noticed. <laughs> I just, I love it. Um... Blooming, oh, they have one called Yellow Snow. Stop it. That's so funny. Um, Blooming Idiot. Let me see. Where are you? Where are you, you Blooming Idiot? Yeah, these scent descriptions are just get a little, uh, these are just like normal. The, the names are funny. Um, but, oh my God, those, those Christmas ones were stupid. Sweet notes of Bartlett pear, apricot, white peach, plum blossom with fresh notes of mimosa and spring air. This is really good. This is really good, too. Oh, this is really good. This kind of reminds me of a, like a light floral. And I know the only floral is the plum blossom. But I can definitely smell the pear, too. This is, this is good too. This is good. I can't wait to melt this stuff, you guys. I really can't. Um, this is I Caramba. I can't tell. I hate having to go back and forth, but okay. I Caramba. I Caramba. Um, margarita lovers won't believe how true this scent is through refreshing salty lime tequila drink that brings us so much joy. 
This is this is good. This is salty and lime. Like this is this is really good. Oh my god. This is so good. Oh my god. Do you ever like like you smell something and it smells like like it says it smells like a drink and it does? Like how do you think of this chunk of wax like and smell it and like picture yourself actually kind of drinking this even though you couldn't drink this unless it was in melted form which I don't suggest you guys do oh, it's really good really 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 good okay two more guys um by the sea I love sea scents especially in the summer I mean I melt all year round so I you know I love sea misty sea spray so real you can actually smell the salt this is good. This is just a straight up beachy sea, like sea scent. This is really good. I love sea scents. I love them. Oh my God. They're so good because I like fresh scents too, but sea scents are like fresh, like a step down from fresh scents in, in, the, in the sense that they're not as perfumey, if that makes sense to you. I find some fresh scents can be very perfumey, and I find sea scents not to be that way. So, um, the last one is candied toffee crunch. Now, we obviously know what that smells like, so I'm not going to look for the scent description on that, but, I mean, it's, it's good. It's just, it smells like candy toffee. It smells like toffee. It's just... Mm, it's really good. You guys, I am really impressed on Cold Snap. I can't wait to, to melt. Um, I may actually email them and ask what the best melter is because um, I will be doing the do's and duds um, video on these. And that was it, right? Yep, that was my order. And so the scent descriptions are hysterical, you guys. So just go. I'll post the information below. Even if you just want to get a laugh, go to Grumpy Girl Candles. It's hysterical. Like, I just have to... Oh my god. I just have to I just have to I like this oh my god. Like bulimic ballerina. Bulimic ballerina. Now, I used to be bulimic guys, so I don't take offense to this. I think it's I just think it's hysterical. I mean, I know a lot of these are like stereotypes and whatever, but this is oh her slim, gorgeous figure, all wrapped up in pink tulle. Everything about her screams perfection. Only her six cats know that every evening is a binge and purge orgy at her house. Her grocery bills rival her rent. She loves to eat bags and bags of sugar cookies while watching romantic black and white movies, wondering why in all her perfection she can't find love. Yummy pink sugar, strawberries, buttercream frosting, and vanilla sugar cookies. Like... It's just funny. I'm sorry. It's just funny. It's comical. So that is my haul from Grumpy Girl, you guys. So if you guys just want to get a laugh, whatever, like I said, I will let you, I'll put an annotation or something when I melt something on these videos. I do tend to go back, um, but normally you'll find them in my do's and duds, and I will again list, I, I list the websites where you can find the scents and whatever. But if you want a good laugh, man, go, go to Grumpy Girl. They're they're hysterical. So I will talk to you guys later. I'll be back tomorrow with more videos and new nails. Mwah. Love you guys.